back to the second channel, man, and the beat from the intro is provided by Mike on the beat. There's a link in the description below that's going to take you to downloadpass.com. From there, you can find this particular beat tape because I'm live streaming it. And get the contact information via Twitter. And if you holler out and get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply. And today's reply is to that Slum Village Ego, in which this track is pretty good, man. I actually did like it. This is solid beat, man. Solid rhymes. Solid all the way around. I wouldn't say that it's great by no long shot, man. But it's definitely worth a solid listen. Now, but the main thing I definitely wanted to talk about this here, man, is that Slum Village isn't really Slum Village anymore, man. There's only one original member still doing the thing in here. And this is something that you see in all of the music industry, man. Like, going back in the day, like, the Temptations had more ex-Temptations than actual Temptations. So, the ex-Temptations went on fucking tour. See, the name Slum Village is actually bigger than the actual artist that's within Slum Village. So, they won't let it go. They're going to continue to bring in other acts and such to continue to push on Slum Village. Instead of just saying, okay, Slum Village was what it was back in the past. Let's go ahead and start over, do something new do something different. And which that does work a little bit, man, for the established fan base that Slum Village has. But the problem with that is the fan base really isn't that damn big like that. It really ends up like this. The new artists are actually sacrificing the potential growth to get that immediate fan base. In which that's something that I personally would never fucking do. Personally, I'd rather create something new that has the chance to erupt and become bigger than fucking life than to be a part of something that has set parameters that's really not going to have that much growth to it. But this is just an option that many people who are really hungry to get into the game can take. You can try to expand the names of these already set brands and such instead of creating your own from scratch. But anyway, on to ask, download pass. And Ethan says, you realize that Tech 9 put out this song, man. Not caring if it was hot, not caring if the beat was dope. He just had something to say and he just put that shit out there. Now, first of all, didn't I say that in the video? That this is the benefits of you having your own label that you can put out any fucking music that you damn desire to do, I said that shit. But what you're saying doesn't make any fucking sense. So you're telling me that maybe one of the most successful independent artists of all time type shit decided to intentionally put out bad fucking music, not because he believes in it, just because he fucking could. Like, that doesn't make sense on a business level. The people who do that type of shit don't reach the heights that he's reached. Really what this comment comes comes off as is you trying to come up with any fucking excuse to cover up the fact that he put out something that was subpar and which is okay this is something that fans gotta understand not every song is going to be a fucking hit let that bullshit go for the most part he's going to give us some dope ass songs as time goes along this just happened not to be it I hope you enjoyed the show you can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.